Hey, what's up, K Stars? It's your girl, Kristen Alexis, and in today's video, we are cooking manicotti. So, manicotti is actually one of my favorite things to cook. It's just one of those tedious meals, though, that I don't like cooking all the time because I hate stuff in the noodles. But we're gonna do it tonight. So, I'm gonna be sharing with you my recipe that I like to cook for manicotti, which is basically just like every other recipe, with the exception of a couple little variations that I make. You guys may also notice I'm in my pajamas right now. I put on my little Batman pajamas because your girl had to get comfortable. I just got Got home from work and I'm really tired and it's dark outside so it looks like it's later than it really is but your girl is tired it's been a really long day so please bear with me in the pajamas you know the whole pajama situation but that will not detract from the cooking because we're about to get into this recipe and I'm looking forward to eating it and I think the best part of this recipe is it doesn't take a super long time but with that let me go ahead and show you guys what we're working with what the ingredients are I got them over here to the right so I'm gonna share with you the ingredients and then I'm going to walk you through this recipe so that you know how to make manicotti for yourself okay you guys so what you're gonna need to make this recipe is I have a side so these are actually some green beans that I'm gonna make on the side so we're gonna push that out the way but you're gonna need some manicotti noodles you're also gonna need some mozzarella some Parmesan cheese you will need a green pepper an onion some ricotta cheese some ragu tomato garlic and onion you also are going to need some ground beef you're also gonna need a pan to put your manicotti in the oven, and then you also will need a little bit of aluminum foil to cover it up when you put it in the oven to bake. minutes uncovered which is actually perfect because I'm gonna have use that time to get my sauce and my stuffing done but we're gonna go ahead and add these to the water really quickly and then we're gonna start on our stuffing for the noodles <laughs> Okay, so now I'm adding a little bit of garlic to the skillet and we're gonna just cook that for a little bit to get it rolling and then I'm actually gonna cut up some onion and green pepper really quickly so that I can also add this to the pot. spaghetti sauce to the inside of my manicotti because I like mine to be wet and moist on the inside versus being like really cheesy and kind of hasty so I like to add this to mine and I just feel like it's because of mainly the texture so you don't have to do this some people just add the ricotta cheese and all the cheeses and all that stuff inside and then they let theirs be cheesy I might actually be breaking the way the recipe is supposed to be but this is how I like to eat it <laughs>
shouldn't, but oh my god, it tastes so good. It's just a little, little, little bit of sugar. Not a lot, but it really makes a difference in my opinion. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar over this. And it just changes the taste of the tomato sauce, especially because I use a canned sauce. So I like to do that. Again, not a ton, just a little bit, not a ton. But I tell you, I'm telling you, it makes all the difference. And I don't really eat sweet, so this is where I make up for it when I do cook my spaghetti sauces and my manicotti because I like to add just a pinch of sugar to kind of make, you know, it have that extra pop, that extra wow factor. Before I start to fill the noodles, I'm gonna put a little bit of spaghetti sauce on the bottom of this pan. And it just kind of adds like the sauciness factor to the manicotti, as well as it keeps them from sticking. So we're just gonna put enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Not a ton, because I don't wanna have too much of this plain sauce, but I like to do this because again, it helps it from sticking and it keeps it to be like really saucy and really, really tasty. Darling, you send me Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Okay, you guys, so I'm almost done cooking the manicotti. But before I get my shelf stuffed, I'm actually going to crack into a bottle of Plonk. You guys have been following my channel, you know this is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite wine. I get this from a winery here in Fort Wayne called Two E's, and I get a lot of questions about this too, seeing that I've talked about it on my channel a ton. I did ask this winery if they deliver throughout the country, and unfortunately right now they don't, but one day they will. They said they're actually working on this, so I'll keep you guys posted when they start doing deliveries and you can actually get it shipped. It's bomb.com, I promise you, like if you are in the area, definitely try this out because you're gonna love it. Like it's so delicious. So I'm gonna crack into this really quick and then stuff my shells back here so that we can see what dinner is tasting like. left and then it's time to eat and I know everybody's ready to eat so it's a little after eight so it's late this is a late dinner <laughs> I had to actually wait for a couple ingredients sorry the dog's fingernails are clicking but I had to wait for Brian to pick up a couple ingredients from the grocery store I actually didn't have enough ricotta and I wanted everything to be like covered over really well one other thing I wanted to say I put this in the oven on 375 for 30 minutes because I wanted to be melted and hot all the way through and everything be perfect especially since i added a little bit of the spaghetti sauce without the seasoning so i kind of mixed it together with the spaghetti sauce that i had you can actually take the remaining hamburger and the mixture that you've created and put that all over the top i kind of don't like to do as much of that myself just because i don't want it to be super thick when you're eating it and you're getting like everything from the inside on the outside. That's how I do it. However, a lot of recipes just have you put everything on top and it tastes really good either way. So you you really cannot fail at this recipe. If you've never had manicotti, it's literally like a cross between lasagna and like a spaghetti, but it's not noodles. It's not like thin noodles. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> But it's really, really good. I promise you guys, this is probably one of my favorite, favorite pastas besides Alfredo. I'm a big Alfredo girl. I love, if you haven't picked up, I love Alfredo. We've done Alfredo on this channel probably at least two times, maybe three times. So your girl loves some Alfredo. I'm enjoying my plonk. <laughs> This stuff is so good. I've had a glass. This is actually my second glass. So I'm gonna need to eat to like offset it, but it's an off day from the Peloton. Tomorrow I'm gonna go hard, but I'm enjoying my plonk in the meantime. So I guess when we come back, I'm gonna share with you guys what I think of the food and the way that I did this recipe today. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious, but I wanna just give you guys, you know, the taste test when I get it out of the oven. Were you waiting for me? Aw. This is my plate. 
I didn't make any bread or anything because I don't need the bread. But those green beans is fire. <laughs> really, really good. But let's taste the manicotti and see what it's hidden for. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be good though, you guys. This is so good. My kid, my oldest twin just came and said he wants some more. So if that's not telling y'all how good this is, it's really, really good though. Like I think this might be the best manicotti I've ever made. And then I got my plonk right here. Why are you eating chips when I cook dinner? Brian's back here eating chips, you guys. You're recording, so I'm like this. Get off plate. You want to come get your food? It's really good though. Like this honestly is probably the best manicotti I really have ever made. I'm not even exaggerating right now, you guys. So follow this recipe because it's good, y'all. It's really good. Tell them the recipe. This is really good. <laughs> like, it's delicious. I'm sorry, you guys. It's probably so loud with everything going on. The dog's walking around. It's a lot of stuff going on right now, but this food is delicious. Okay, you guys. So, the meal was absolutely delicious. I highly, highly recommend it. If you have not made manicotti at home for yourself, for sure try it. And it's one of those meals where it heats up really, really good the next day. So two thumbs up, two thumbs up. I guess this is two thumbs up. <laughs> two thumbs up for me, I for sure, I love it. And I wanna hear what you guys think. So if you decide to make this meal for yourself, be sure to come back and let me know. But with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. I appreciate you as always. I love y'all. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, which is down here in that corner, as well as hit the thumbs up button to show your girl a little bit of support. But with that, I'm gonna be out of here. I'll see you guys in my next upload, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. All chillin' out, maxin', relaxin', all cool and Now all. this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel-Air Bel